Okay, there's a third stepping stone I want to share with you. <clears throat> and this has to do with sorting out your worldview. You need to sort out your worldview. And what I mean by that is, you know, we're discovering truth all the time and you've been reading things and studying things and you get a point of truth here and a point of truth here and you get an idea here. But a worldview is how we connect all of those dots. And so we connect all those dots and we get this coherent picture of what's real and what's true. And so a worldview then gives us a place to live. It gives us a sense of what's, what is meaningful and true about the world that, we're, that we live in. But there's a lot of competing worldviews out there. And so as you come out of one worldview, then the question is like, where do I go from here in terms of like, what do I believe? What, what is going to shape my reality? What, what am I going to hold as true? There's a lot of competing. And every, every worldview out there is in competition with every other one. Everyone is going to have some kind of universal claim that we're the right way to think about things. So how do I figure that out? And so our claim is, and our encouragement is, that you know, as you consider the Christian worldview, is it credible? Does it add up? Does it stack up? Do the, can the things that the Bible says be um, verified? Can they be tested? Does, it, does the thing the Bible say, does it fit with, our, with reality as we experience it? What the Bible says about human nature, does that, is that what we really observe in human nature? Um, does, does the Christian worldview, does it bear fruit? Does it change people's lives? So all these questions we're asking about worldviews, we try to shape this new worldview. And until you do that, you're just going to be go, kind of going around in circles in the swamp until you start to really put those pieces together into a coherent whole. Now, that's not something you do over a weekend. It takes time. But I want you to be aware of it, okay? So it's not just about learn this truth, learn this truth, learn this truth, but I want to, I want to construct those truths into a coherent whole that makes sense. And from our perspective, that makes sense in light of the Bible. But now, having said that, there's one issue, worldview issue, that trumps everything else. As you're figuring out your worldview, figuring out what's true, the ultimate question is, who is Jesus? So Jesus himself said in Matthew chapter 16, he said to his disciples, he says, hey, what, what's, the, what's the scuttlebutt around? Who do people say I am? What are people saying about me? And they gave him some answers. Some say you're John the Baptist, come back, or you're Elijah, the, whatever. And then Jesus confronted them. He said, okay, guys, that's interesting. Now, who do you say I am? Who do you say that I am? And that was a monumental turning point in their relationship with him when they came to grips with the answer to that question. And Peter declared it for the rest of them. He, he, said, he said, you're the Messiah. You're the one. You're the one. And so Jesus is asking us the, the same question. Who, who do you say I am? You know, you can make it pretty far through the swamp and out to the other side without resolving every single possible worldview question. But you're not going to make it very far until you resolve this one. Who is Jesus? Is he who he said he is? And what is, what is the purpose of his, of his activity in the world? Why did he go to the cross? These core questions. Is Jesus enough? Is he enough? See, this is the thing about a, our worldview, our Christian worldview, is it's not all about all of this doctrine and these traditions that have been passed down over the centuries. There's value in those, in those conversations that have come down to us. There's value in our heritage, in our history as Christians. But that's not what Christianity is all about. It's not all, it's not all about what church you're a member of. It's about Jesus. When you strip it all away, it's all about Jesus. He's the core, he's the linchpin of our whole wor worldview. And so that's the question we have to try to figure out. Who is Jesus? Because we have to sort out our worldview.